Okay, I'm Chris Busby. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the attacks that have been coming on, uh, coming, coming at me. There's a sort of global um, tsunami of attacks on Chris Busby that, uh, that started last week with um, George Monbiot in The Guardian. And, uh, but it wasn't just George Monbiot in The Guardian. I can tell you it's attacks coming from Swedish Doctors for the Environment, from in Ingrid Ekman, from, uh, from all sorts of people who are attacking me now and trying to destroy my credibility. But actually, I have a lot of friends, you know. I have a lot of friends. And I'm in the offices of the Swedish anti-nuclear movement here, which is why you can see all of these things. Um, and talking to my friends about all of these attacks and also about Fukushima. And I want to talk a little bit to you about, about these attacks and to explain what it is that's been happening. The real target for these attacks is not me, you see. The real target for these attacks is the credibility of the European Committee on Radiation Risk, who I represent mainly. Uh, and the attack is also aimed at destroying my credibility with regard to something very, very important that I've discovered in the last few months. And this is the existence of a new weapon, the existence of a weapon that was used by the United States forces in Fallujah in Iraq and either produces or, or, or ma is made of enriched uranium. Now this is an extraordinary discovery. It was not, an, it's not a particularly expected discovery. We, we found out by looking uh, at hair samples of the mothers of children with congenital anomalies in Fallujah in Iraq that some weapon had been used that either, can, either is made of or produces enriched uranium. So there is a secret weapon out there that people don't want us to talk about. And now this is actually to the nightmare of the, of the United States military authorities and those people who use this weapon, it's out there. It's actually in a peer-reviewed journal that this exists. And as, John, as this jo Joseph Conrad once said, when all the shouting is over, the grim silence of facts remains. And the facts here are that the, 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 the United States and possibly the Israelis and other, other modern, modern Western military um, uh, outfits have been using this substance which is contaminating Iraq and certainly contaminating the planet and this yeah, is a very Sweden. serious matter. Sweden too. Of this stuff goes all over the place. Anyway, so the real target for this, this character assassination of me is not me. It's the evidence that this weapon exists. And of course the evidence that Fukushima is going to kill an awful lot of people. So, uh, and, and th taken, those t taken together, what that shows is that the, the risk model, the current risk model for radiation is totally wrong, which is something that my group, the European Committee on Radiation Risk, have been saying for a very long time. So that's the first point. What the, what the nuclear and military authorities have to do, what the nuclear military, military lobby has to do, is they have to destroy the opposition to nuclear. And the, and the opposition to nuclear resides with the anti-nuclear movement, with the anti-depleted uranium movement, and with the Green Parties of the world. So what they want to do is to cut the Green Party off from the science that shows that radiation is unsafe. But this is where the Green Parties came in, because they are the only political parties that ever really opposed nuclear, and they became powerful on the back of anti-nuclear. This, this is where they came from. And if they leave anti-nuclear, if they move away from it, if they believe these attacks, and they try to, and they allow themselves to be confused by the attacks on the science that shows that they're right, then they will go nowhere. They will, they will end up as, as, as worthless parties along, along with a lot of other worthless parties that will just produce the same mess that we are in at the moment. The substance of the attacks is entirely wrong. So the argument is that um, Chris Busby is a false scientist because he's associated with selling... Uh, um, worthless tablets for lots of money to the poor people of Japan in order to make himself rich. So we'll take these little these arguments in turn. The first, the first argument is the pills. Now what, some co what I have suggested, and I suggested it some time ago, is that you can block the access of strontium-90 and uranium, which are the worst isotopes, worst nuclides coming from Fukushima. You can block their attachment to the DNA by taking calcium supplements. You take calcium, calcium binds to the DNA and it prevents the strontium-90 and the uranium binding to the DNA. So the first thing that these people who are attacking me say is that this isn't true. They say this is nonsense. 
There's actually a woman called Ger Geraldine Thomas, who's a professor at Imperial College, who said this, who said that, there, that, that it is untrue. And in fact, there are, um, she's wrong. What we have is at least five or six scientific papers that were published in the 1960s that show that strontium-90 uh, is kept away from the DNA after people take calcium tablets. They did experiments with humans, they did experiments with rats. So what she says isn't true, and what we're going to do is, and what we have already done, in fact, is we have sent her a letter asking her to retract, and if she doesn't retract, we will sue her for libel, because she is affecting my reputation on the basis of something which is manifestly incorrect and can be proven to be incorrect in a court of law. So the first thing is they will have to retract. There is no question about that. Now, the se so the pills do work. That's the first thing. The second, pills, the second question is, do I make money out of the pills? Well, actually, in fact, there are no pills. And the reason that there are no pills is because as soon as this guy, um, uh, my colleague, well, not colleague, but, a, but, a, but a, a businessman in Japan called James Ryan, started to consider making these pills, he was attacked on all sides. He was attacked by the Japanese government. He was uh, refused permission to import the pills into Japan. Uh, he wasn't uh, able to make a, um, an organization, the Chris Busby Foundation for the Children of Fukushima. He couldn't make it because nobody would, no, nobody would, would, would join with him as directors on the board of this new company because they were all frightened. And he received all sorts of death threats. So actually no pills were made. No money has passed hands. I've certainly not received any money, and I it was never intended that I should receive money. But any of the profits from the pills would have gone to the foundation to buy equipment for measuring radioactivity. So that, and all of this is on, this statement that I'm making to you, is all on the website of the uh, low-level radiation campaign as a general statement. Now, who organizes this foundation? Well, the, or, or, the foundation is organized by a man called James Ryan, who's an American living in Japan, who has a child who is seriously ill and on life support. And he said to me when he phoned me up that he couldn't bear the idea of other parents having to live with children who were seriously ill, so he wanted to do something about it. And he asked me if he could use my name to set up a foundation to try and do something about it. And I said yes. So that's the limit of my involvement with this foundation. Then as far as making uh, measurements on material, in, uh, on, on samples that are being sent from Japan, no samples have been sent from Japan. The idea was to set up a laboratory, the Busby Laboratory in Japan. I was going to advise them on what equipment to get, and they were going to make independent measurements in Japan of the concentrations of radionuclides in various substances that were being brought in. So that's, that's about it. As far as this whole situation is concerned, we are going to take some kind of libel action against uh, Imperial College and against, that, um, against the people who advised George Monbiot incorrectly with regard to these, 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 um, these statements about whether the pills are, are, whether they work or whether they don't work. And one other statement that was made is that, the, the, is that cesium, the, the cesium released from the nuclear power station um, I, I said that it caused heart attacks in children, uh, and there was a statement made by a Japanese uh, scientist, member of the ICRP, that this was nonsense. But actually, there's also plenty of evidence that, that cesium binds to heart muscles in children and causes heart attacks, and it's all in the scientific literature. So that's all, all that I have to say about this, and thank you very much for listening. Watch this space. You will find the um, consequences of our attacks on the Guardian newspaper, and on the people who are attacking us by entertaining. Thank you.